everyone for this video I just wanted to show you some alternative ways to use the stamps and dies you don't have to just always make a wiper card so I've made these really fun ones here and this is doing that mirror technique which I will share or I have already shared in the videos but I show you how to get a, a mirror image of your stamps and it's just a really really fun card you can see there it opens up you've got room to write your message if you don't want to write anything inside you can always write it on the back but they look really nice and then you've got that one there just by adding the baseball cap to the giraffe completely transforms it and makes it into more of a younger card so perfect for the teenagers and so on and there you go you again you can see I've got there why the long face I just love that sentiment and then I've used those papers in the background so I'm going to do the one today I'm going to use the horse um, and the die here as well. There's the stamp set. I've already gone ahead and coloured all of that just to keep the videos, you know, focusing on how to put the card all together. And also the papers I'm going to use is this one here. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a six by six card blank and I'm, this is that piece of paper that I showed you there. And this is cut to five and three quarters squared. And you'll see it's going to just sit nicely on the top of our card there. So I'm going to actually stick this down first and then I'm going to die cut my aperture, so that circle, through the two layers. Now if you're worried that you won't be able to do that then just do one at a time. You'll just have to line up this one, draw around the circle and then cut it again on that second piece. But most good die machines should cut through both of them with no problem. So make sure I've got this the right way up. This is going to be a top folding card. So again just make sure that it all opens up the correct way. And that's that one stuck down there. Then I've got this circle here and this one measures three and three quarters thereabouts. So you want to open up the card, you'll be able to run this through a standard die machine and I've just got a little bit of tape and I'm just going to sit this in the centre. So just make sure you've got you know even kind of amount there on each side. I'm going to stick it on the inner part because you know I don't need to keep that piece so if it did rip or you know tear the paper at least it's that bit and it's not going to damage my actual frame there. So I'm just going to run that through my machine layer of copy paper on the top and that way it won't damage if you've got a very worn well used machine like myself that way it won't leave any markings on your actual card okay so now I can just take that one away and we've got that lovely opening next I like to always have a frame whenever I do these kind of cards so I've got the next size up in my set of circle dies there along with that original one and just pop them together and you've guessed it, I'm using that lovely holographic cardstock and I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice even border. Again, I'm just going to run that through my machine. Okay, so that's all fallen away nicely. I'll keep all these pieces for another time. And then I can just pop that one around there and I think it just frames the card. This is a birthday card as well, so that shine I think works really well. So I'm just going to add my glue to the back here, just a very thin layer, you don't need much at all, and just pop that one and it will perfectly line up because it's exactly the same size, like so. Okay, now when you cut down your paper you'll have this piece and I never throw my scraps away because there's loads of fun techniques and card styles that you can do using scraps. So with this one here I actually want to keep these three together here, so I'm going to cut straight across there Again, I can keep that for another card, and I'm just going to cut right up some. Sometimes I leave like a white border, but because of the pattern behind this and the fact that I just want those balloons on their own, I'm actually going to cut right around. I mean, it's easy to cut around, you're just following the curve. Don't worry if you make them a little bit smaller. Okay, like so. And the idea is I'm going to stick the yellow bit above that one there. You can just see a little bit of the yellow balloon. And then the side of the blue one's just going to attach there. And I'm going to put some twine behind for the string on the balloons. I've got a little yellow bit there, but when I add this really cool horse face, which I just love, his ear just sticks there. So the whole thing is actually attached. It just gives it a little bit of strength. And I've got this piece here, which is going to go inside. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue along the bottom there and just pop that inside there and just make sure it's going to sit where I need it to. Yeah, that's fine. And you can also just cut another piece of pattern paper, cut a circle in it and stick it inside so it will cover up that. Or you could stick him down in front of the circle first and then add the pattern paper. So there's, you know, there are other steps and ways that you can put this together if you just want to have a, a 
a bit more of a I guess tidier finish you don't want everything to be exposed but you can just easily just you know cover that behind so I'm just gonna lift this one up here I just want to pop a little bit of my glue just to the back there like so and I'm going to pop a little dab of glue just there just to attach the ear to the balloons there like so while that's drying before I attach the line there I'm just going to add my sentiments so I'm going to have happy birthday you're not that old so the happy birthday is going to be just about there and then the you're not old is going to be down here because we're going to have the string there so I don't want too much you know kind of going on in that part so let's just cut that one in half there I always like to use the foam you see me use it throughout all these videos and in most projects that I do and that one's going to go just there then I've got this piece here which is the whole size so this is six by six and it's just going to cover the inside so you get to see that pattern paper when the card stands up so just sit that right over the top there you could have a frame if you want to but I quite like the whole area just covered there like so and then I've just got some twine here so I'm just going to take a bit of the purple off and a little bit of the green actually no let's do the orange that's the last bit of that one we'll bring these ones in and I'm just going to open this up and I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the bottoms there and just stick the ends of each one down So there is the finished card. I think it looks great. It's just so much fun, simple to do, but really effective with those papers and just by fussy cutting the balloons there. And of course, what's not to like with that horse face. So I hope it's um, inspired you just to use the stamps and the dies, even the papers, you know, in a different way. Um, all the links to everything that I've used as always will be shared in the description box below. And I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.